All right. Converting different types of azimuths. The type of two different types that we're going to concern ourselves with most of the time is grid north and magnetic north. Uh, we use true north when you just want to figure out which direction is north and you don't have a compass. Hey, look at the stars. You can tell by the constellations which general direction north is. Good enough. But if you do specific uh, azimuths, we're going to use grid or magnetic. Now the problem with these is that uh, magnetic north shifts all the time. And so it'll be different depending upon the map that you're on, the location of the world that you're in, and uh, the year that the map is made because the magnetic north pole shifts. The different types of direction you'll see on a map. If you look on this, you'll see that magnetic north has like an arrow on it that makes sense because it's a compass. True north has used sometimes if it is on there, we'll have a star because that's, we use Polaris for that. And grid north has a box indicating like it's, it's a grid. And then there's these different um, ways to plus or minus on the, the map to convert from magnetic north to grid north. So if somebody gave you, in this example right here, 14 degrees magnetic, uh, how do you convert this to to grid? And this, this picture right here is pretty complicated because this is going from the uh, north. It says 14 degrees to the north, true north, and then 10 degrees to grid. But how do you convert, say, uh, uh, from your magnetic to grid? Well, here it is. <laughs> so if you look in the Army FM, there's tons of stupid stuff in there about major to general and all kinds of other acronyms and such that don't truly work. The reason why they don't work is because, sure, major to general may work if you're in a part of the world where the magnetic, back up, if the magnetic arrow is on your left-hand side. Some parts of the world, that magnetic arrow is on the right side of true north, and the grid north arrow is on the left side of true north. Major to general no longer works. It, it depends on where you are in the world. And in, in the FM, the Army FM for land nav, there are seriously like, a couple of pages on this that are just complicated. Whereas if you just remember Lars Ulrich, this is pretty easy. Lars Ulrich, if you don't know and you don't have good musical taste, he is the drummer for Metallica. And it is pretty simple. If you go left, add. If you go right, subtract. And what the hell does that mean? Well, funny thing. Here you are right here. You've got the, on the left, you got an arrow. So that says that it's magnetic. And on the right, you've got the square. It shows you that it's grid azimuth. Okay, I'm going to give you an azimuth. All right, bam, I'm gonna give you 55 degrees magnetic. Okay, well put your grubby little finger on the correct arrow. Hmm, that's the arrow on the left. Okay, so just put your little finger, go ahead and do it on your computer screen. Put your finger right there on the thing that looks like an arrow. That is your magnetic azimuth. Now, what is it that you wanna convert it to? You may be saying to yourself, I don't have a clue. Well, what are you using? You're using a compass. Okay, so you're going to be converting this to mag, uh, as it was, grid azimuth. So to convert to grid azimuth, move your finger across the screen to the right to go to what you want to convert to. All right, which direction did you just travel? You traveled right. If you go right, you subtract. And so the answer is 55, subtract 30, is 25 degrees. Let's go for another example. Look, oh my gosh, we're in a different part of the world. Magnetic azimuth and grid azimuth has switched on us. Okay, well funny thing. I'm gonna give you 60 degrees magnetic azimuth. Okay, put your grubby little paws on the arrow that indicates it is a magnetic azimuth. That is the one on the right hand side there. All right, now you convert this, you wanna convert it to grid azimuth because we're gonna plot this on a little map. All right, funny thing. So. What do we do? Move your finger in the direction that you want to convert to. What is that? You go left. So Lars Ulrich, L-A-R-S, left, add. So 60 plus 30 is 90 degrees. So here we are some examples. Say for this map right here, the declination is 21 degrees. All right, what is the magnetic azimuth for the following grid azimuths? Easy for me to say. 
So 229 degrees. So read that question again. Is what is the magnetic azimuth for the following grids? So we're starting with the grid. Put your finger on the thing that says that looks like a grid azimuth. That's the box. And you want to move your finger towards the direction where you want to convert this thing to. In other words, you're converting it to magnetic. So you're moving it to the right. Right is what? L-A-R-S. Left, add, right, subtract. So 229 subtract 21 is 208. Here's another one. 332. Convert that. Go ahead and hit pause. Because here it comes. Spoiler alert. 311. 17 degrees. 356. All right, so now here's a question. What is the grid azimuth for the following magnetic azimuths? So you're starting with a magnetic azimuth. Put your grubby little finger on the thing that is a magnetic azimuth. All right, that's the thing that looks like an arrow. All right, and I want you to convert this to grid. Which direction do you travel to go to grid? You go left. See that arrow on the right hand side? You go all the way to the left where it has that little box. So you go left. L-A-R-S. Left, add, right, subtract. So 84, add, 21, is 20 is 105 degrees. 6, 27 degrees. 350, 11 degrees. Now, if you're like wondering how we go from 350 to 11 degrees, or on the earlier example, 17 degrees to 356, that's because there are only... 360 degrees in a circle. So if you find yourself above 360, then you need to go back to school. Get yourself a protractor. This is something that I drew on my little compass back when I was starting out. It was like a little fox. Got a plus or minus sign to it. This just tells me, this tells me like if I'm starting on grid in that middle, and I need to convert that thing to magnetic, I'm going left, I add. But if I'm converting the grid to magnetic, and I go right, I subtract.